In Hollywood, Latinos have occupied a special place in terms of the roles they are assigned. This is in part due to the Monroe Doctrine and the Manifest Destiny, which outlined the beliefs of Anglo-Saxons that it was their God-given right to conquer territories such as Mexico because they were the superior race. This ideology was transmitted to society in order to justify conquest dehumanizing Mexicans and later on other Latinos through negative stereotypes is an effective means to accomplish this. Cinema then becomes an effective tool used to subtly uphold these beliefs. Some of the stereotypes seen in films are that of the Latin lover or the womanizer, the criminal, the immigrant, and the male buffoon. The stereotype of Latin lovers is one of the themes that are presented through the movie Baby Girl. Victor, who is one of the main characters, tries to pursue both a mother and daughter romantically. Furthermore, he also exhibits characteristics that propagate the notion that Latinos are lazy, which is demonstrated through his lack of ambition for the future. Latino men in movies are often portrayed as womanizers. They are presented as irresistibly romantic men that every woman would desire. In addition, Latino men are also shown having multiple women each crazy in love with them. They are tall, dark, handsome men that usually have an accent. Also, they are portrayed as sexist in that they feel that since they are men, they are always right and superior to women. In the movie, Raisin Victor Vargas, the main character, Victor, is very self-centered. He believes that he is a papi chulo and that he could get any girl he wants. He also has a sexist mentality. He tries to seduce Julie, his love interest, with his charm and ends up falling completely in love with her. At first, Julie acts as though she isn't interested because of its conceited ways, but she is later undeniably in love with him. The immigrant stereotype and films portrays Latinos as workers in low-paying jobs earning less than minimum wage. They are seen as taking over blue-collar jobs that belong to Americans. In the media and in films, they are alienated even further by portraying them as undocumented illegal immigrants or aliens. This is done to, to establish the case that they do not belong here. One of the themes seen in this stereotype is the emphasis on working and the lack of a certain and education. This is evident in the film The city where immigrant men who came from Mexico are portrayed as illegal, undocumented workers. Yes, they arrived to a large city to build their lives, communities, and dreams, but they forgot one important thing, to stress the importance of education to their children. This portrays Latinos as anti-intellectuals. The male buffoon stereotype is used in films as the comic relief character. In general, he's very simple-minded, has childish antics, cannot control his temper, and when tantrums are not enough, resorts to violence. This is seen as the opposite of what Hollywood envisions mainstream society to be. In the end, until this mentality changes, negative stereotyping of Latinos will persist. The good news is that nowadays Latino actors are challenging the, these stereotypes by adding their own interpretation of what it means to be Latino rather than conform to an assigned role as seen in the past.